Hello and welcome to Failure and Analysis. My name is Kevin Jordan. Uh, for those who don't know me, of which there are many, um, I, I am one of the original three game designers on World of Warcraft. And I was there for uh, working on that game for about 11 years. And I left in 2010 and I was very sad to hear about uh, the recent layoffs and wanted to talk a little bit about my feelings on the matter. Um, I was uh, I'm saddened by this, and I'm also angered by this. Um, a lot of hardworking people, of course, lost their jobs, um, about 800 apparently. And uh, I wanted to get into how business has changed, unfortunately, uh, because a lot of us feel a little, a little bit helpless in terms of like what to do, um, which we, we, only, we only feel this way because we care about the brand, right? We care about the IPs that, um, you know, Activision Blizzard has in its portfolio. And we want to see it do well. We want to see the people that work on it do well. Um, and we know that a lot of the people that were working there that were, you know, hit in these, in these layoffs, um, care immensely about the company, care immensely about the IPs, and we feel badly that they, you know, their reward for that has been to be laid off. Um, as uh, um, Rock Paper Shotgun here uh, reports, they prioritize profit over people. Um, that seems pretty apropos. Um, the, the thing that got me thinking about it is the way that things have worked in the past that no longer work in modern day business um, for a lot of companies. And it's essentially upside down. Um, the thing that it made me think of was basically the Japanese military uh, back in the day with samurai and whatnot. Um, failure at that time was essentially met with seppuku right if you failed right the honorable thing to do was seppuku um, to admit your failures right and so you look at you look let you look at an army that goes out fights a battle and they're they're the bigger army they're the ones that are that are forecast to win especially they have everything they need to be successful they have the numbers they have the terrain you could say that they're the best game in town and they lose they fail in some way what happens then seppuku and it's not guess who guess who isn't committing seppuku in that case it's not 800 guys in the back you know hauling wagons of food to feed the army as it moves around the countryside that's not the group that commits seppuku. The guy that commits seppuku, the general, the leadership, the guy whose plan it was, the guy who made all the decisions and everyone else is essentially following orders, right? And, it, and nowadays in business, it's upside down. The leadership is deciding who gets to fall on their sword, right? And unfortunately, this time around, it was these 800 employees and they're the support staff, right? If, if they're not performing, if they're not in a position where they can be of benefit to the company, that's leadership's fault, right? Leadership is, is there to put them in a place where they can make the company successful, to put them in the best place for them to shine and to be productive and to be happy and to push the game, the company and the products and the game and the brand to that next level, right? So every time there are these failings, and this isn't even a failing, remember, this is the record earnings year, right, for Activision Blizzard. But uh, the way, you know, industry works now, the way, the way business works now, um, it's the illusion of success, right? It's the illusion of doing the right thing that matters rather than actually doing the right thing. So the perception that you're restructuring by laying off 800 employees makes the stock go up, which is crazy. Um, 
but unfortunately that's the way it works. So I'm saddened uh, for all the people that lost their jobs. I am angry at the leadership for not, for not doing the honorable thing. It's time for you guys to do the honorable thing, right? I have a sword from Blizzard. You're welcome to borrow it if you need it. Some of you guys don't even have five-year swords. That's how little you care about the brand and about, you know, what's the, the future of this company, right? You care only to get your personal wealth up, your personal brand up. And it's really sad because it's impacting a lot of people that shouldn't be impacted by your failures in leadership. So, yeah, guys, time to step up. Do the right thing. Do the honorable thing. Stop taking it out on people that love the company, love the brand, and want to make it the best possible thing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Come follow me on Twitch. And I uh, hope to see you soon, but I'm not, not under these circumstances. And uh, if anyone needs help, please contact me any way you can, um, and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks very much. See you next time.